at the SAG Accords or Golden Globe Awards, they sit us in the rear. If a movie's wine, the stage champagne divine, well, I guess that makes us beer. For a Broadway show, folks spend lots of dough, yet we give it away for free. You're a duck, not a swan, when they say that you're on TV. All right, everybody, let's hear it for the heroes of Magnum P.I. I thank you, and my mustache thanks you. Um, I, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, all rise for a national treasure, if ever there was one, Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles. <laughs> Jimmy, thanks so much for the long introduction. I thought I was dead. <laughs> Seven hours of insults. I don't hurt people, believe me. I'm married 44 years, and the wife gets up in the morning and goes, is that about it? It gives me great pleasure to present the TV Land Future Classic Award to Two and a Half Men. At any rate, uh, and, uh, and Charlie here just got back from uh, Vegas with his wife, uh, and he's discovered that staying up till 5 a.m. in Vegas when you're not doing enormous amounts of drugs and alcohol is actually very hard. <laughs> <laughs> I am pleased and honored and thrilled to be here tonight to present the TV Land Fan Favorite Award to Tim Allen and Home Improvement. <laughs> From all of us, I, 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 <laughs> we're going to start this. Don't we're start. just so delighted. I'm just so freaked to be in this group of such great TV shows. I'm a TV junkie from way back, from Dick Van Dyke on, on back. And to be part of this, what I see out here is amazing. I'm thrilled to be part of your lives. We're still thrilled to be part of your lives. It was a great experience for all of us, for all the directors and all the crew, especially craft service. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great honor at this time to bring to the stage some of the true American television heroes, the producers and cast of MASH. People ask us why the show was so successful. And it, it, it was in great part because of the talents of the writers and the producers, the great Larry Gelbart and Gene Reynolds and Burton Metcalf, the directors, of, a string of great directors. And, and the actors, and not only their talents, but this thing we had among us, we loved one another. And that affection we had, I think, came through, uh, through the lens of the camera. From their action-packed cul-de-sac to our TV Land stage for their 30th anniversary, the cast of Knott's Landing. If I did it again now, and I really would like to do it again now, the only difference is I would have a new married couple on the left side named Jeff and Peter, and a new married couple on the right named Molly and Maria. But other than that, I keep it just the same. This year's Lucille Ball Legacy of Laughter Award goes to a woman who is classy, funny, and most importantly, keeps this whole area real tight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Julia Louis-Dreyfus. <laughs> Of all the awards that um, I've been nominated for, this is truly the most important because I won. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I present the TV Land Innovator Award to the cast of Married with Children. For, um, we don't get to see each other all that often, and when we do, it's like we had left off where we left off, and, and with Ed being Ed, and <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, so thank you for giving us this um, opportunity to hang out at a table and be dysfunctional together one more time, so thank you. <laughs> um. I had no idea. 
I had no idea it was so dressy. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, my brother and I would curl up on the couch with a blanket and a bowl of Count Chocula <laughs> and watch TV. On Saturday morning, there was only one show we were going to watch. No, the McLaughlin Group. <laughs> Everyone in the industry knows they're a hard get, so, uh, so they're not here today. But as soon as that show was over, we'd turn to insane lizards, dinosaurs, and monkey people. <laughs> to me and to tens of millions of others, those words can only mean one thing, the wonderful and weird world of Sid and Marty Croft. <laughs>